Now on Saturday the 9th of September, Swatch went and dropped their latest release with a major Swiss watch brand. This time of course it is Blanc Pain, or as some people untastefully say, Blanc Pain, or what I like to actually call it, given the amount of people that I saw waiting in line for one of these things, Max Pain. Because there was some serious Max Pain that I saw. Seriously, standing in line for like 12, 13 hours all through the night with no sleep, no food, no toilet, just to get your hand on a plastic watch, it's not normal and it's not super fresh. But unfortunately, that's how human beings work. So I decided to drive up and see exactly who is camping out the store. Am I gonna find droves of people setting up their tents, got their tins of beans on and their campfires, waiting hours and hours and hours just to hope to pick up one of these watches the following morning. Why did you decide to like hang out here all night, man? <laughs> well, I expected a lot of more people here because the first time uh, I want to go because of the Omega Swatch, uh, uh, how you said it, the corporation. So I expected, for example, like maybe thousand or two thousand people, but this time it's not that much. And also they have a list; it's organized. But with the other uh, brands, with Omega, it was not like an organization, yeah. but it was a big chaos. Yeah. So we went here with uh, three other guys and it's like, it's a nice watch, nice colors. So we want to try it to buy. Yeah. And if I like the watch, I personally want to keep it. Yeah. But if maybe it's too big because it's 42 millimeters yeah, exactly. and it I don't have a very big wrist. Okay. So if that is the problem, then I probably be trying going to sell it. Yeah. And maybe on a higher price and maybe not. So, so you want to flip it? If possible. If possible. If possible. Yeah. And okay. I know maybe I can flip it for maybe 200, 300 more. Yeah. And I have to wait 12 hours. So it's not a very good deal. But it's also, of course, the the excitement and everything on it. Yeah. You can learn new people. You can talk to people. Yeah. But how many units have you got then? Or can you not say? We can't say. You know. We can't. Is there enough for everybody? <laughs> it's going to be th no. Yeah. Soon we will let uh, them know who is going to yeah. be getting it. Who's not yeah. To, uh, yeah. How many units do you think they have? Uh, actually, we received it uh, like uh, less than 15 minutes ago, so they're still counting and checking, to be honest. Okay. They told the story and um, there was like an extra box with it and it's waterproof. Mm -hmm. And yeah. What's your what's your reasons for, for buying it? Do you a collector yeah, or yeah, yeah, collector, yeah. not gonna flip it? No, no, no. <laughs> I purchased the Neptune last time. Yeah. It also was here. It was yeah. 34 in line and they had 40 watches. Right. So, yeah. so you waited here all night. Yeah, yeah. For this. Hours. Yeah, yeah box nice as well. It's a bigger box and yeah. there's like a waterproof box in it oh, okay so nice yeah. nice yeah. so why did you buy uh, why did you buy the watch why to collect it uh, or to flip it. flip it to flip it yeah. you have it on mark plats already yeah <laughs> you have offers uh, yeah how much uh, uh, me not so much but uh, you already got offer, uh, offered for two uh, watches uh, three grand three thousand euros for two watches blue 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 it looks like a speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a boombox, something. Yeah. Like so, this is uh, the blue one. My nice. watch combination. Nice. Blue Nido. 90 hours uh, power reserve, so I'm yeah. really happy with it. It looks good. I don't know, I can take it out, but I will try. Yes. So, it looks like the, also the back. Yeah. Very simple, but very nice. I'm, uh, You're very, very pleased. I'm very happy with it. Nice. Good. Yeah. And also the automatic uh, movement. Yeah. yeah. 90 hours power reserve. I think that's very large for yeah. a simple watch like this. It's a shame that obviously it's not a serviceable movement. Yes, that's the only uh, so, negative. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it looks, uh, I think it looks very nice. Yeah. 
especially the blue uh, the bezel. Yeah. Well it's done. It's illuminated, so in the night you can see yeah, a, of course. a lot of color. Of course. So what's been my take on this whole Swatch Blanc Pan release? Man. My take on this was the vast majority of people, especially in regards to the front of the queue, I mean, there was kids there and everything, and I could even see that these kids were basically like listing this on like auction websites already. I could hear the conversations they were having about how much they were already being offered for this. There was a few people walking around offering double the price so that they didn't have to stand in the queue. And again, this is not the kind of thing that I like whatsoever. No, sir, it's not fresh. And unfortunately, it is how it is done. How do I see this looking for the future? I think that Swatch will probably continue doing exactly what they're doing, but I think like anything in life, where like a TV series, once you get to season three or season four, you start to get a little bit bored and the hype obviously just completely dies down. So this is probably gonna be what happens. Whether it gets to something like 2027 and we start to see the Tissot Swatch release, etc., these kind of things, I don't think that the hype is gonna be there at all. Probably they made a mistake using Blancpain as their second release because it's not as well known as other brands. For example, if it was myself doing it, I would have used, say, Tissot as the second brand. Quite simply, a lot more people have heard of Tissot rather than Blancpain. That is basically just how it is. So guys, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments and of course, feel free to hit a like on this video. Guys, as always, till next time.